Hello everyone, I am Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now in this video, we will discuss all the basic properties of a solid cylinder. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now the shape that you can see over here is a cylinder and that too a solid cylinder. Now a cylinder is of two types, solid and hollow, but in this video, we will discuss only about a solid cylinder. So let's start with the definition of a solid cylinder. A solid obtained by revolving a rectangular lamina about one of its sides is called a right circular cylinder or a solid cylinder. Now basically it means that a solid whose cross sections are circles congruent to each other is called a right circular cylinder. In simple words, what the definition is trying to say that, suppose you have a rectangular lamina and if you rotate it about its central axis in this direction, then you'll get a solid cylinder. Now if I name this point as C, then the distance between C and this end point is called as the radius of the solid cylinder. Now a cylinder has two circular cross sections, one is at the top and other is at the bottom and it is also called as the basis of the solid cylinder. Now suppose if I join the centers of both the cross sectional bases, then the straight line that passes through these two centers is called as the axis of the solid cylinder. So the straight line that you see over here is called as the axis of the cylinder. The distance between both the centers of the cross-sectional basis of the solid cylinder is called as the height of the cylinder. If I join the line between both the centers, then this distance is called as the height of the cylinder. Now if I take the radius of the cylinder as small r and the height of the cylinder as h, then the perimeter of the cylinder is equal to 2 into 2r plus 2 into h. Now there are two types of surface area for a solid cylinder. One is the curved surface area and the other is the total surface area. So let's discuss both these one by one. Now the curved surface area is also called as the lateral surface area and the value of it is 2 pi r h. So the value of the curved surface area is equal to 2 into pi into r into h where r is the radius and h is the height of the cylinder. Now the curved surface area is called so because if you roll a cylinder then the curved portion will only touch the ground and the total area that touches the ground is called as the curved surface area and that is equal to perimeter of the cross section into height. Now perimeter of cross section is the perimeter of the circle which is equal to 2 pi r and height is h. So the curved surface area or lateral surface area for a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h. Now let's move on to the total surface area of a solid cylinder. Now the total surface area of a solid cylinder is equal to the curved surface area plus area of the two bases. Now we have just learned that the curved surface area is equal to 2 into pi into r into h and the area of the upper base is equal to pi r square and the area of the lower base is also equal to pi r square so that becomes 2 pi r square. So the total surface area is equal to 2 pi r into h plus r. Now every three dimensional figure has one additional property that is it can hold some amount of liquid or fluid inside it. Now the total amount of liquid that it can hold is called as the volume of that respective three dimensional figure. Now the volume of a solid cylinder is equal to area of cross section into height. Now area of cross section of a solid cylinder is equal to pi r square and the height is h. So the volume of a solid cylinder is equal to pi r square h. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.